morning everyone welcome back to modern homestead alaska um this is one of the most exciting days we've had so far we are actually in anchorage and we are on our way to the port to pick up our wood cook stove we ordered this all the way back in april right april and we have been waiting this long and with the shipping and all of the issues it sat for over a month and a half in Washington um, and it is finally here it's finally off of the boat and it is ready for us to pick up so we are going to figure out how to get a 600 pound brand new wood cook stove into our house and set up and we would like you to come along for the journey so uh, welcome back here we go Welcome to Anchorage. The moon is out, if you can see that, and so is the sun. All right, join us for a video. Okay, so we're here. You go to a shipping yard. That's what we love tractor trailers and then we gave up our sheet and then they're in there getting our item we're gonna put it in the back of the truck and then we're gonna go through it and make sure there's no damage so if you ever have something shipped this far at least you have an idea of what to expect this is our first time so we weren't a hundred percent sure exactly what we were There she is in her plastic. When you guys order from Obadiah's, which is where we got our stove from, you're gonna wanna rip it open. You're gonna check and make sure none of the glass is broken. We got glass on both of ours. You wanna make sure nothing's been punctured. They're not gonna allow us here to completely unpackage the whole thing and then put it back in. But when we get to the home, stud, we'll show you the stove. All right, we got her home. Erin is getting it, the crate taken apart. Do you need the hammer? The warming oven and uh, the backsplash come on top of your JA Roby way that it's packaged. So we are going to take apart as much of the stove as we can to lessen the weight to get it into the house. There she is. So this is the warming oven and the backsplash. The stovepipe goes from the oven through here and then heats it. And then that way you can see the air gaps and how all of that is heated. We did double glass. Front side and then everything is packaged nicely. Uh, it looks like nothing moved inside of there. Even our fire bricks are in place. All right. Yeah! No. Okay, my back's gonna die one more time. Okay, <laughs> we're going all the way in the hall so we shut the door. Pick 
thinking about it. <laughs> All right, do not laugh, otherwise you will drop. I know. This is brutal. All right. Get mad. Pick it up. One. All right. One, two. Step. One, two, three. Cody White, step. We are at the Home Depot. <laughs> Let me just show you. Um, the cart is stuck in the Alaska snow. So much tile. Aaron and I are putting this for the hearth and the pedestal for the wood cook stove. Okay, so here we are in the area that the wood cook stove is actually going to go in. And I know that I've shown you this on previous videos, so you can look back on some of them. Something that we had done in October was we had the stove in the basement put in. We'll show you that later. And then if you look up here, this is where the wood cook stove is going to vent out. It has gone through the attic and everything on the roof and through the attic is all done. There's triple wall pipe up there. It is an insulated pipe, so we could run it through that area. Um, the house wasn't originally designed for a stove like this, so we moved this wall, we put in this wall, we added this whole area here in order to have this wood cook stove be a centerpiece from when you enter into the home. And it also is centrally located for heating the home. Aaron and Caleb already did the underlayment. Uh, there's lots of tiling videos if you want to know how underlayment works. And then what we're going to do in this large of a space, even though the stove is not this big, what we don't want to happen is when we open the stove, some sparks come out, things like that, it would burn uh, the wood laminate or vinyl type of flooring that we have down. So this is actually going to be tiled. I wanted more of a look of like concrete and the black and the natural elements. And so we have a stone type of porcelain tile here. It has some texture to it, it's colored throughout, but it is the color of concrete, which is what I was looking for. This is made in the USA and it is a 12 by 24 tile. So it will go down here. Um, the second thing that we have to build is when the wood cook stove came, it is much shorter than we expected. Um, we, <laughs> my husband and I agree, tell people how tall you are when we watch all these wood cooking videos and stuff on YouTube. Um, he is 6'4", I am 5'8". I am the shortest person in our family. So when you see the kitchen cabinets, they finish at 40 inches. So we are actually having to build a pedestal to go under the wood cook stove on top of this in order to lift the cook stove up enough that it is actually something comfortable for me to cook on. So right now we're gonna get to lay the first set of tile, then we're gonna build the pedestal and we are going to set this wood cook stove. So of this super soft one. And then I have a firmer one. 
and I have already cleaned out the grout lines and vacuumed all of it up and I'm going to scrub each tile as I go along, pushing the grout in and then washing it as we go. I have the grouting finished. I wiped it as I went and then I just did the second wipe. I am now just going to let it dry. I got as much grout off of the tile as I could without messing up the grout lines. And there's kind of this milky white haze that's from the water and the grout and kind of scrubbing and we are just going to leave it until it dries, but for right now, we're going to go down and check on what Aaron is doing. He is building the pedestal. underneath it Caleb. So we lift. So two by six I think with is this half inch plywood? Three quarter. Three quarter inch plywood. So we needed the stove to come up how many inches? about six and then a two by six is not actually six inches it is five how many five and a half then this is three quarters quarter huh this is, oh this is three quarter and this is quarter. this is a quarter inch so we have a total of what inch, now six and a half what do we have now six and a half inches without the tile without the tile so then when we do the tile we're about seven inches total Enough. And then these are um, backer on. These are not like. Gotta go up for tall people around here. I know. We're, how disappointed were you in the height of the stuff? I was duped. pedestal is built, is done, it is dry, and I am going to grout it. We're actually down in the basement. I don't know if you can tell that. We're going to grout this pedestal box with black, and then we're going to move it upstairs and set the stove on it. done with the grout um, and I need to let it sit for a couple of hours and then clean the haze and everything that's left you see like I don't know how well you can see it but all of this is just grime and grit and the chemicals that are in the grout um, that are kind of popping up but the grout is in there it's kind of a charcoal black to match the black box and hopefully it'll all just kind of fade away when we get it up there we just picked up all of the double wall pipe and the extensions and everything that is going to go with the stove now this big guy and 
and I are on our way to a company called All Steel and they roll the steel for what will essentially be like the heat shields around the stove. This particular stove doesn't actually need the heat shields but the design of the house and the look and what we're going for will use this um, beautiful steel. So we're going to go pick that out and have that made and we'll keep you guys updated and then when we get home he is going to put the pipe in and we are going to have our first fire tonight. What do you think we cook for the first time on the new stove? Comment below. Say hi. So we have all of the stove pipe and we are going to connect it through there. Okay, so the stove pipe comes out of the stove here. This adapter makes it to where we're not doing single wall pipe, but double. This one has been poked out and Aaron is So a stove pipe comes with a label with an arrow that tells you which direction the air flows and well, we obviously want to be up and out. the little G, the little square one. When you get a stove like this, it is going to have a pattern in the instructions of how the fire bricks go into it. That from? Why can I break that off? Now give me two blocks. start a really small fire. We're going to let it burn down into some coals and we're going to slowly add some wood into it. So the goal with this is it's going to burn off um, the paint and the chemicals and all of those things. So we can't actually use it to cook with until we've been burning with it for about 24 hours. So let's start the first fire. What we're hoping for there we go. You're getting it. so on this side here is the damper control and this is the oven control that's on the stove um so right now it is in the closed position meaning that the smoke is going to come across here and up out of the stove pipe if this were in the opposite position, the smoke would go around the oven, heating the oven, which is not what our goal is. 
this damper to the side on this series is completely open right now. So our, we're gonna try and heat up the stove pipe and it'll start sucking the smoke out of the stove pipe. So this stove, unlike a lot of other ones, doesn't have more than one damper or more than one control. We just have this and then that's the oven control. And that is all I actually have to deal with on this stove. So it should be good. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for staying all the way to the end. If you liked this video, would you go ahead and leave me a comment telling me your thoughts and then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our page. If you are interested in seeing how we got this custom wall built and the other things we have going on on the homestead, go ahead and follow along. Ring the bell so that you get notifications when we post new videos. The answer to the question of what was the first thing that was actually cooked on the wood stove is coffee. So we are big coffee drinkers in the morning and we went to bed about 1.30 after getting the fire lit and the next morning at four in the morning, Aaron made coffee. The first meal was about 72 hours later, letting the oven and everything burn off and that was lasagna and red sauce. So there are your answers of how everything happened and what we did and the next video will be this beautiful custom uh, backsplash or surround or heat shield, whatever you want to call it, behind the wood stove. So follow along and we'll see you soon. Thanks for following Modern Homestead Alaska. We'll talk to you guys later.